from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, Americana Outdoors' Kevin Gieske gets a chance to go after his first deer of the season with the latest 10-point Carbon Phantom RCX crossbow. But first, let's join Yamaha's Steve Nessel's deer hunt on the opening weekend at the Wendland Ranch in Texas. And to top it off, Steve gets to put the new Yamaha Wolverine X4 to the test in the field for the first time. This trip opening weekend in Texas, we're, we're dipping the Wolverine X4's toes in the water as far as its first hunting voyage. We used it uh, not really in tight technical terrain. We didn't put it through its paces as much as we could have, as much as it could handle, uh, but just a smooth, quiet, um, you know, just overall comfort that that vehicle provides in an environment like this is, is really cool. In September, Yamaha unveiled the 2018 all-new four-passenger Wolverine X4 side-by-side, -side, which delivers superior handling, especially on tight technical trails, combined with legendary real-world tough Yamaha durability and reliability. You know, in Asheville, uh, in North Carolina, we, we brought in a group of dealers, a select group of dealers to show them the Wolverine X4 because we know that this vehicle is, is right for their consumer. We know that it being how, how capable it is, how well it can go those places, but also the smooth, the quiet, the new 847cc parallel twin engine. We do a ton of research. We know what people are looking for. We know there's families out there, there's hunters out there, there's buddies, groups of people that want to go and just get outside and do things, go places, and, and have a vehicle that affords them the ability to do that and has a durability and reliability they can rely on to get them to those places and get them back time and time again. And so in Asheville, we basically took this, this all-new Wolverine X4 and we unveiled it to those dealers who have customers who already are buying this thing in market. They've driven it and they know how good it is and they'll be able to communicate to that customers and ideally they have a good relationship and that customer's really gonna take their word and then they're gonna get in it and they're gonna go enjoy it. All right, we got the all-new Wolverine X4 and yesterday we are out run some people around. We actually had three and four of us in here at a time, checking out the spots we're gonna be today and for the coming weekend. But now that we got me and Jeff and we got probably more gear than we need. And ideally, maybe we'll put a deer back here. We're gonna go ahead and move the rear row up. I've got the left seat. Gives us quite a bit more, more capacity in the back, 600 pounds total for whatever we need right now. We had a cool tripod set up. We were tucked in. Weather-wise, it wasn't ideal. Uh, we had the sun coming up. We had some, some cloud cover early on, but we got blown out, if you will, sporadically throughout the morning. Uh, we had a list of deer that, that are mature enough. Mr. Scott here at the Wendlet Ranch had, had shown us some pictures of deer that, that were of age and were shooter quality. And we knew going in what was on the list and what was off the list. Luckily for us, we had a shooter deer in front of us really, really, really on, and he spent a ton of time. Unfortunately for me, and it sounds, I'm gonna come off as sounding like picky or greedy or what have you, but he just, he just wasn't doing it for me. I, a lot of things at work, he's a good, awesome looking deer, but I'd seen pictures of an eight, a couple eights actually that I really liked. Uh, we spent the, the rest of the morning in there, had a lot of deer walk in front of us, some guys that are going to be just incredible shooters a few years from now, and, and we got down and we made a plan for the afternoon. Well, the afternoon of the first day, we went back to the same setup. We went back to the tripods. It really is an afternoon stand. And we settled in, and it was a show. A lot of the show was the same deer I saw in the morning, and to be honest, he just he just still wasn't doing it for me, and I, I think I said at the time that maybe I was ruined by the pictures of the 8s that I'd seen, and it sounds silly because he's a mainframe 10, he's got some stickers, he's really a 12, and I'm holding out for an 8. 
There were two on the list. Uh, one came together up top and in front he almost, I don't think I could get my fist through where his, his main beams come together. And there was another one that did the exact opposite and flared out. We've got a bead on the flared out eight who is also a really cool deer and he's all in the other side of the property. We got a stand set up, we have a ground blind out there that's all brushed in so we decide if this 12 really isn't, uh, you know, if it's not an inch I really want to scratch. Let's go over and see what this eight will do for me uh, if we can get him to walk out in front. Hey, don't forget to check out the all-new four-passenger Wolverine X4 at YamahaMotorsports.com. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X4 offers four times the proven off-road capability, four times the comfort, and four times the confidence to deliver four times the excitement on your next outdoor adventure. Incredibly compact, perfectly balanced, deadly accurate. Shooting 340 feet per second, the reverse draw Vortec RDX is performance engineered to take down big game. Horton by 10 point, adrenaline fueled. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin Verb, Life, Camera, Action, Cabela's, It's in Your Nature, Thompson Center, America's Master Gunmaker, and by Yamaha ATV, Real World Tough. I've spent a fair amount of time in the export now. This is the first time I've been hunting with it. and. Every time you get in, every time you turn the key, you're, you're impressed by how smooth it is. Get on the gas, just the, the, the lack of vibration. You know, obviously it's designed and engineered to be smooth, but it's quiet too. So whether you're in that driver's seat or you're watching it pull out, which is an experience I had, pull out from camp, um, you're wow, almost every time. Uh, it's, it's incredible, it's awesome in an environment like this. We didn't, again, we didn't put it through its paces as far as the terrain's concerned. To have all that the Wolverine X4 has to offer and to be able to use it in an environment like this, it, it's, it's, a, it's a tool that we will continue to put through its paces. It is something we'll use time and time again. We'll get it into some more technical terrain. We'll have that rear row up and back hundreds of times. But that's what it's there for. And uh, I look forward to using it more and more and more. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. It's the opening weekend, and we're on the hunt with Yamaha's Steve Nessel at the Wendlandt Branch in Texas. Second morning, opening weekend, we get into the ground blind, looking for the eight point. Uh, looking for either of the two eight points, but pretty much, no, only one of them might show up. Uh, we spend a good part of the first half of that day sitting out watching tons of deer. So don't really know what to do at this point. We're a day and a half in. I've kind of backed myself into a, a corner, if you will. It's not tough hunting. There's deer everywhere. And I know there's more on the list, but I've kind of zeroed in on these couple of eights, only one of which is showing up on camera. So we come back in second morning, uh, come back into camp to talk to Mr. Scott, Mr. Clark, figure out what to do. And lucky enough, where we were night before, uh, they got a picture of this guy, the flared out eight on camera. So Decision's easy. We're going back to the same spot, second night. Actually, we get deer in front of us pretty much right away. We're in there early, but it's just they're small bucks, and they're the same guys, and they're just walking around, and they're just feeding, and they're just cruising. I think it's what they do all day long, almost. And then the shadows start getting long. It starts cooling down. And we're fine, and we're kind of tucked up under a, an oak, and we're looking at a ridge that has some live oaks in it. So it's dropping acorns. And it starts to cool off. We get more deer. A couple of does, a couple of bigger bucks, still young. 
And then a buck I saw that morning, um, a velvet, he's, I think he's a seven, he only has a brow tine on one side, still in velvet, starts walking in, and I almost dismiss him. Look up, see him, dump that same velvet, and then behind him I see something else, and I look up, and immediately, I don't even have the binos up, it's that just huge flared out eight. Americana Outdoors will be right back. The art of the hunt is not painted with a broad brush. Its eye is in the details. The note on the refrigerator. A set of broadheads, tried and true. The well-worn boots, soaked in doe estrus. And a Garmin Rhino, the only GPS with two-way radio. Clear the rhubarb out of the freezer. It's whitetail season in rhino country. It's in our stomping grounds, in our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras. The game has changed. And by Grove Tech. Go hunt. We'll carry the gun. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Well, it's day two of the opening weekend at the Windlet Ranch in Texas. Yamaha's Steve Nessel spent all morning waiting for the eight point he saw from Stealth Cam Pictures, and he finally showed up. It's going to sound silly, especially to people who haven't done it. Right away, I know I made the right decision. Because I sat there for almost a total of three hours and a full day looking at it at 12. And he didn't really do that much for me. But I see that eight for a split second, and I can feel my heart and my chest start pounding. And I know I did the right thing. I was waiting on the deer that really did it for me. It get in, I tried to get my breathing under control. I didn't get the gun up right away. I didn't want to be in a hurry. We needed to get camera or some footage of it anyway. I'm just taking my time. And so as he comes in, he gets into the area where the oaks are, where the other deer are feeding and milling about. Um, I start to try to get the gun up and that's when Jeff and I start to get ready. In the moment, it looked like a good shot. He just hunched and took off. And it felt good. Jeff thought it was good. I was excited. So we wait a few minutes. Uh, so we get up, we go out, pack up our stuff, we get to the place of impact and can't find it. There's no sign. And I'm freaking out. I always freak out. I'm always got to pit my stomach, you know, when I shoot because I want to make sure I do, you know, do the animal justice, make a good shot. We see some prints, but it had been some rain a couple days prior, so there's a lot of tracks everywhere. So after about 10 minutes, we're going to walk up because we see some rocks. And we're like, well, let's go up to these white rocks and see if we can see any sign on the rocks. And go up 20 yards. <laughs> I see the white underbelly. Oh, big guy. Oh, he didn't go out very far, but he's, I mean, he goes out. <laughs> Who wants to take flight with these suckers? Oh, boy. He got a big old body on him, too. This guy is awesome. So, 
Mr. Scott says he's probably, I think, at least six. They got a pretty stringent management plan here. And uh, they don't give the green light until the deer is, uh, is mature for sure. He delivered on the horns. He's a bigger bodied deer. And you know that if he's on the list at the Wendlet Ranch, he's a mature buck and it's, it's, it's his time. I mean, I'm thankful for the fact that he's down and he's done and he was done quick. I'm thankful that I was able to come out and enjoy the, the outdoors and put the new Wolverine X4 to the test. Um, I'm thankful that I'm gonna take a, you know, an animal home, share with my family, literally on a, lot, on a lot of levels, tell my kids about the hunt. It's just a great feeling. It's hard to describe how pleased I am at the whole, the whole thing. Being here is awesome and uh, I'm hoping I get to do it for years to come and then I'm uh, in the process of bringing my boys into that cycle now. There he was, there he was, there he was. Up next, Americana Outdoors' Kevin Gieske goes crossbow hunting for his first buck of the season. Stay tuned. Kill a moose two miles from your truck, and you best not be scared of a little work, a lot of hunger pains, or the dark. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. Follow your compass with America's master gunmaker. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Bradley Smoker. Food smoking made easy. Conquest Scents hunting and dog training sense, and by 10 Point Crossbow Technologies. Perfection lives here. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Kevin Gieske usually works behind the camera on the hunt, but today he gets the opportunity to do his own hunting. Kevin chooses to hunt with his favorite 10 Point Carbon Phantom RCX crossbow. Man, I love crossbow hunting. Um, we've heard it before, it, it's hunting with a bow and it's hunting with a rifle put together. Uh, you have the accuracy of a rifle, um, but you get, to, you get to hunt in bow world. So you're up close hunting, that makes it exciting, and, and uh, I, I, just, I just love it. I'm using a 10-point Phantom RCX, and the, R the RCX means it's reverse cam. What that does is it gives you a little more draw, it gives you a little more kinetic energy. String comes back further into the trigger, that bolt goes just a little bit faster. And uh, let me tell you, they come sighted, pre-sighted from the factory. Out of the box, it was pretty dead on. So uh, on this hunt, if I miss, my fault. Where we're hunting is the Winlet Ranch. And uh, you know, we, we've come here several years now and it's just a beautiful piece of property. Um, their deer are beautiful. They like to let them age and so, you have good genetics that are passed on year to year. And, uh, you know, Scott Winlet and Clark Winlet, they, uh, it's their family ranch. And uh, it's all about uh, the family. It's all about the camaraderie. It's, it's about being there with friends. Uh, it's what I think a true Texas deer camp is. You know, day one, I got to hunt with Scott. He went out with me, and, and Scott knows his deer. So it made it really kind of nice. And there's a deer in the area that he said, you know, Better chance than not, that deer's gonna be in this area, so let's go sit there. So we did. As soon as the sun came up, you know, we had deer in front of us. Problem with this stand, it looks directly east. So we knew the clock was ticking. When the sun topped the hill, we were gonna be lit up like a Christmas tree in there. So that had us a little spooky, but you know, lo and behold, the deer we were looking for, he showed up. He stayed off on our right side, and we had Rusty, the camera, set up on the right side. Rusty couldn't see him. The deer still came over a couple times uh, where Rusty could get shots of him, but never gave me a good, steady, broadside shot. After that, sun came up, we lit up, said we're pretty much done here. Deer left, we left. 
evening hunt comes and we know that uh, this is where we're going, we're going back to that same stand. We sat there a little bit, not too long, and that deer came in along with his buddy. His buddy was there in the morning, I didn't mention that. Uh, they were traveling together, and uh, so in the evening, that deer comes in, and uh, my heart rate goes from normal to a thousand. As a matter of fact, um, I've kind of gotten into where I wear the Garmin heart rate monitor because everybody kind of makes fun of me. I'm the poster child for buck fever. Whether I'm hunting with a camera or whether I'm hunting with a with a crossbow, bow, or rifle, it does not matter. Uh, I get all kinds of nervous when that deer comes out. So when that deer comes in, he goes right to where he likes to be, over on our right-hand side of that blind. And it was just a matter of time, just waiting to get the shot. Finally, I got where that left leg went forward. I think it was a good hit. I think it was a good hit. <laughs> what do you think, Scott? Yeah, I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell? The problem is that crossbow throws that arrow so hard, so fast, we couldn't really see where it went. We played it back in the camera and, and we were pretty convinced that yeah, he was good. So we gave it a little bit of time, went out, started looking for the arrow, did not find the arrow initially, but had all kinds of blood. So we had all sign everywhere. And uh, we're looking around and we go maybe 30, 40 yards and Scott looks up, oh, there he is right there. <laughs> He's He's ball up in the tree. <laughs> well, he didn't go very far. There we go. Here, that's just that. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Scott. This is oh, man, this has been fun. fun. It has been fun spending some time in the blind yeah, with you has. too. We've had we've had some good good experiences. Mm. Saw a lot of deer. Yeah. I had a, uh, got got a chance at this guy. He just man, look at look at that. I like it. Real chocolatey. Uh -huh. You know, walking up on that deer, I I couldn't be happier. It's just nice to see them. It's nice to get your hands on them. It's nice to know that you got meat in the freezer. Um, it's just, it's what makes hunting, hunting. You know, one of the coolest things that I had on this hunt was the new Garmin InReach. It's a satellite communicator. Uh, basically, uh, it's using uh, satellite technology that you are uh, able to send and receive text like you do with your regular cell phone. So it's 100% worldwide coverage. So whether you're, uh, it doesn't matter where you are, and you're able to, if you get into trouble, you're able to get a text out for help. Um, or in this case, uh, I let Wade know that we had the deer down, no need to come out and, and, and help us. Uh, and that's part of one of the cool things about a Garmin inReach. In addition to that, uh, if they have software on their phone, they can actually see the image of where you are. You can text him your location, it'll pull up on the map and they say, okay, he's right here. We can access it from this location to this location if they need to get help to us. Now, if you really get in a pickle, you can actually go directly, you hit an SOS button on the side of the unit and that goes directly to uh, the guys that are monitoring that SOS signal and then help comes directly from them right away. Check out a Garmin inReach. It's something that really gives you peace of mind when you are out in the woods, that you're able to get help if help is needed. For in-depth stories from the fields and to watch any of our previous episodes, visit our newly designed and easy to navigate website at AmericanaOutdoors.com. Hey, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. When you're out hunting, make sure you're carrying Grove Tech. Grove Tech is designed specifically for the rigorous demands of the hunt and sets the standard for strength and ruggedness when out in the field. Grove Tech products have simply built the best tools for the job and are proudly made in the USA. Go hunt. We'll carry the gun. Grove Tech. Man versus nature. It's a tale as old as time. An external struggle 
pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who will come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Protect it or lose it. 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 Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing. Since 1984, Sawyer Products has offered the most technologically advanced solutions for protection against sun and bugs. Sawyer Picaridin Insect Repellent is effective against mosquitoes and flies. It's safe on you and your gear. And to maximize your protection, use a combination of Picaridin with odorless permethrin for your clothing and gear. Sawyer Stay Put Sunscreen will keep you comfortable and getting better protection for even longer. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. When the time comes, will you be ready? We're giving away 10 DS4K models between now and the end of the year. To enter for your chance to win, text STEALTH to 59262. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. Purina's Quick Drunk is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out. The Bubba Blade 4-inch Gut Hook, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, fashions a high carbon stainless steel blade built perfectly to meet your needs. Designed for effective precision cutting. The famous Bubba Blade Handle, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, providing ultimate control when harvesting your game. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. You work hard to put feed where you need it, when you want it. And thanks to our patented SpinTech spinner mechanism that elevates up and down, you'll no longer have feed go to waste due to wind or unwanted varmints. When the motor is shut off, the spinner plate is automatically pushed up tight and sealed against the hopper, protecting your feed. Stop wasting your time and let the SpinTech technology work for you. 
Hercules Outdoor Industries is the new leader in hunting blinds. However you hunt, Hercules is the one blind for all needs. Hercules blinds are entirely made in the USA using high quality fiberglass components that can last through rain, snow, and all those cold winters. All Hercules fiberglass hunting blinds are foam insulated and carpeted, and Hercules Outdoor Industries will arrange to have it delivered directly to you. Find out more at HerculesOutdoors.com.